Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about vision in arthropoda. Introduction Sensation of vision is one of the most effective strategies to understand the beauty of nature and its creations. In arthropoda, the evolution of compound eyes has made them curious to know how they imagine their environment. Opposition eyes are the most common form of the eye and probably the ancestral form of the eye. Most arthropods have at least one or two types of eyes. Lateral compound eyes and small median ocelli, which are simple eyes. These are the diagrams of Simple eye and compound eye in arthropoda. Compound eyes in arthropoda. Most arthropods have compound eyes on each side of the head. Composed of repeating units, omatidia, each of which serves as a separate visual receptor. Each omadium consists of a lens. The transparent cuticle forms a biconvex conceal lens or facet, a transparent crystalline cone. The light sensitive visual cells are arranged in a radial pattern like the sections of an orange. Pigment cells which separate the omatidia from its neighbors. The pigment cells ensure that only light entering the omadium parallel to its long axis reaches the visible cells and triggers nerve impulses. Thus, each omadium is indicated as only one region in space and contributes information about only a small region in the field of view. The compound eye is excellent at motion detection. As an object moves in the visual field, the omadia progressively turn on and off. Because of resulting flicker effect, insects respond better to moving objects than to stationary ones. This structure shows few parts of compound eyes in Arthropoda Working of compound eyes Function resolution and sensitivity of compound eyes Arthropods that are appropriate to be active in dim light, for example, crayfish, praying mantis, concentrate the screening pigment of their omatidia in the lower ends of the pigment cells. This change enables light to enter a single omatidium pass and excite them as well. With omatidia reacting in the same area in the visual field, the image becomes coarser. The change in pigmentation makes it more sensitive to light than in daylight because more can detect a given area of light. Color vision Some insects are able to differentiate between colors. In bees, four of the best visual cells for each omadium respond best to yellow-green light, two respond maximally to blue light and remaining two to UV light. Mosaic Vision Compound eye is incapable of distant and sharp vision but is able to pick up motion and provide 360 degree views and mounts on a movable stalk. Each omadium is large is capable of producing an independent image of a small part of the object seen and not the entire object. 
all these small images are combined in the brain to form a complete image of the object which is composed of small dots or a mosaic of dots and is therefore called mosaic vision the compound i has a high flicker fusion rate about 50 frames per second which means that it can be seen the action as successive independent frames of images not as continuous motion the flicker fusion rate of the human eye is 12 to 15 frames per second opposition image in bright light the pigment cells in the dioptrical and sensory regions spread and completely separate the omadia from each other so that an omadium has an angle of view of only 1 degree and light rays coming at an angle are absorbed by pigments before they can reach the rhabdoms the image formed in the brain is a mosaic of several points each formed by an omadium each omadium uses only a small portion of the total field of vision and then an image of the object is formed by grouping the smaller images together in the brain since each point is clearly distinguishable from the other it is called a mosaic or opposition image the sharpness of the image depends on the number of omadia and their isolation from each other superposition image this type of vision occurs in dim light in arthropods the pigment cells shrink to allow more light into the eye so that the omadia are no longer optically separated from each other enabling even oblique light rays to strike one or more omadium this is the result of the overlapping of adjacent blotches of images that form in the brain this image is not sharp but blurry due to the overlapping images simple eye of arthropoda median indirect eyes the median eyes are large convex and covered with a thick cuticle that forms the cornea or lens the hypodermis forms a thick vitreous body that nourishes the lens the sensory rhabdoms point backwards towards the reflective layer called the tapetum rhabdoms are surrounded by many sensory retinal cells that transmit nerve impulses to the optic nerve and then to the brain the scorpion's median eye is used for vision at night or in dark places because the dim light entering the eye is reflected by the tapetum to strike the rhabdom again to create vision lateral direct eyes the lateral eyes are small three pairs and located on the lateral sides of the prosoma this eye is covered externally by a biconvex lens made up of transparent cuticle the epidermis forms a thin vitreous body beneath the lens inside the eye cup there are several rhabdoms that point directly to the source of light 
as the tapetum is absent in these eyes. Each rhabdom is attached to a sensory retinal cell at the posterior end that is attached to the nerve. Lateral eyes are used to provide vision during daytime or in bright light. Ocelli In Latin, ocellus means small eye. These are simple eyes that provide the capability of distant vision. They also provide nocturnal vision at night flying insects. There is no crystalline lens. The refractive index of light is carried only by the corpse cornea. They consist of a lens and several sensory cells. This figure shows few parts of simple eye of arthropoda. Conclusion Arthropods are not only the most abundant and diverse animals but they are also equipped with many adaptive characteristics that make them advanced compared to the invertebrates. In their eyes and vision are also proof of this. This enables them to have highly sensitive vision at night and even during flight. The mechanism of image formation though complex, highly developed in them.